Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Justin Fields, Monday Night Football, the Bears going into Foxborough, taking down the Patriots. Fired up for this one. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Before we dive into the video, quick reminder, we have revamped the Quarterback School Patreon community. It has never been cheaper, more streamlined, easier to support the channel. In addition, you get a bunch of additional Quarterback School content. Get over there, support the channel. The link is in the description. I appreciate it. As for this video, let's get into it. Oh my goodness, is it coming together for the Bears? First one here, third and four. We're changing the launching point, y'all. We're running Justin Fields. A little rub at the bottom. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Really nice job by the wide receivers right here getting the rub. Love the play call. Love changing the launching point. Love not dropping back, putting stress on this offensive line. Let's get on the move. Take advantage of field skill set. And that is a well-constructed third down play. We'll see it here from the wide. You'll be able to see the wide receivers at the bottom of the screen. You're going to get just this little accidental on-purpose pick rub. We're going to come in, come out right there. Just, I didn't know you would be there. My bad. And we're coming out and it's wide open. Really takes advantage of running into that slot defender by the number one receiver at the bottom. And this is what it's supposed to look like, y'all. Boop. Thank you. Love it. Love it. So much to like here early on as far as moving the quarterback, changing the launch point. Getting out, taking advantage of his ability to throw off platform on the run. We're scheming people open outside. Love it. Next play, naked to the left. Changing launch point again. Play action. We're moving to the left. Nice job ripping it to the over. Again, there is a pattern here in this play calling, and I like this pattern. Again, play action. Moving the launch point. We're going to ask them to basically stop the run all day, do a nice job winning the line of scrimmage, get out here, get going to the left. We've got this over coming all the way across, and you have to have a quarterback who can move to his left and throw off platform. This is a really nice job flipping your hips at the back of this thing, whoop, giving him a really nice shot. Again, just this subtle little, you're out there, you've got enough time, flip your hips, give him a great ball right on him. Again, the other thing design-wise here is look up top. We've got the tight end as the number one. He's blocking. He's not going out. He's sealing the edge. So it's more of a true old school keeper than it is a naked where you've got no edge help. But again, the play calling here, changing the launch point, getting fields out on the move. We like. Next one, third and six here. We've got a little scramble mailbox. The number two up top working across, the guy on the line of scrimmage. We're going to be able to buy enough time, get up and out. Whoop. Mailbox, wide open. Nice job from Fields. When Fields gets outside the pocket right here, he really goes low to high. So good enough protection with the drop eight. You can see here he's he's thinking about getting his head to the back on the check down. A Pump, little pumpy, not there. Mailbox on the back. You see the hand up at the top of the screen before we get pulled. Beautiful ball right up on his face. Y'all, we are rolling. We're creating. We're getting outside the pocket. We're finding our guys open down the field. We're communicating. Love the mailbox. Hand up. Whoop. There it is. It's wide open, right? There's nobody in the middle of the field. Nice job from field to be able to see the mailbox and give him a strike. It's a good ball. Big play. Chunk. Third down conversion. Hell yes. Again, the, just the pocket presence, okay? They're in drop eight. They're only rushing three. No panic. Up, out, create. Eyes down the field. Vision, accuracy. Let's go. Next one here. A little full field read, sort of. Bottom of the screen, no. Up top, yes. Right over the ball, one to two. Again, <clears throat> really nice example here of fields going right to left. So no, middle, yes. Ball gets out on time. This is what it's supposed to look like when he's not holding on to the ball forever. One, no. Two, yes. Throw. Now, it also helps to have guys open and creating space for you to throw to. 
But this is a really nice job. Again, how we're constructing this passing game with timing and rhythm. Whatever this is, no. Yes. And it's just that simple. It's one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. You can play for me, most guys in the league would say. And there it is. No to the bottom. Yes to the number two. Right on him. Again, example, getting through reads. More than a one and run type guy from the pocket. No, yes. Nice job getting all his cleats in the ground, driving it down the middle of the field. Now we're going to get into the stuff that I really like. We've been calling for it for a while. Quarterback run game. And a really a comprehensive library of what it looks like. Right here. I'm going to call this an iteration of Bash Quarterback GT. So what is that? That just means iteration. I'm going to call it wash as opposed to bash. So why is it wash versus bash? Bash just means back away from the run. Bash. Okay, we're going to get nuts. Watch this in football world. W, wide receiver. Wash away from the run. So we're running this jet sweep. We might be reading my man right here. It doesn't really matter. We'll say we are just for the quarterback run game. And then we're just running counter. So we're going gap down, big time double team right here. Gap down, gap down back. We are kicking from the pulling guard and we are wrapping from the backside tackle. And this is what it looks like, y'all. Comprehensive quarterback run game in the NFL. Let's fucking get it. And I use it with extreme emphasis. This has been what everybody who wants fields to succeed has been calling for and we're finally getting it. So again, here's the bash. You can see down here, potentially you hand it off if Judon crashes inside. We're blocking bash down here to the bottom or sweep. And then we're just re running quarterback counter. And the pulling, the wrapping tackle actually has no one to block. That's how open it is. That's how much stress a quarterback run game puts on you. Look at the wrapping tackle, 75. He's helping on a double team. Double team to double team for 85 there. It's a really nice job. Get down, protect yourself. Hell yes. Next one, let's just run it in. What I'm going to call quarterback pin and pull, we're also going to add wash, wash to it or bash, just wide receiver bash, going to our right. Now, are we reading anybody to our right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to call this pin and pull, but this is Justin Fields running the rock. He's got a very unique ability, in my opinion, to be so big, powerful, explosive, but get vertical. So that cut right there. This is what you see when you turn on the film of his ability to run. Anybody can run sideways. It's this ability to cut, put your foot in the ground, get vertical, and then that little corner, he wants nothing to do with this collision at the goal line. Get vertical, powerful, score. Hell yes. Quarterback, pin and pull. Loved it. And it might not be pin and pull. I don't know. what. Who knows what they're calling it. I'm not sure what the left guard technique is for me. That's not for me, but it works here. Love it. Love it. Next one. This is a turnover-worthy play for me. A little miss on a keeper going to the right. We've got the over to the bottom coming across. This very easily could be an interception. Now, the thing about these types of plays, okay, so when I say turnover-worthy or potential miss or could be interception, he's open. No doubt about it. The throw is not where he wants it to be. And okay, and the wide receiver doesn't help us. So what am I talking about? This over here, when you come across here, you'll hear a lot of coaches, coaching points, say anti-interception angle. That's kind of where you carve it back. So you almost catch it coming back this way. You'll hear a friendly angle. You know, keep it flat. There's a bunch of different ways to say it. What you can't do is what... Our wide receiver does here is to me gets up here and then drifts upfield. Like, yes, it's an over, but you can't allow the DB type to be able to undercut this ball at any point. You essentially have to shave this thing off to not allow him to run through your back. And so you watch the end of it, you let me know. I also am acknowledging the throw is not where he wants it to be, but just watch this angle at the very top. See how he kind of fades upfield? The DB is running the angle we want to run. Watch how flat he comes across. See how he's right down the 40? That's what we want it to look like. And, okay, I get it. The throw is behind him. Hey, don't freak the hell out. 
but help us out with a more friendly angle. We'll give you a better ball. Again, what else do we love about this? We love we're changing the launch point. We're getting out on the edge. It's close to a nice play. Just a tick behind him, a tick drifting upfield, and it's almost a nice play by the DB. Next one here, a little zone read lead up top. Hell yes. When I say comprehensive quarterback run game, I mean more than zone read. I mean more than quarterback draw. We've already seen GT. We've already seen pin and pull. This is zone read lead. So what does that zone read lead mean? Really, it's just zone read. We're going to read you Don here, red sleeves. And he's the read. If he surfs it, we're going to pull it. And when I say lead, it usually means that we're going to have a sniffer, fullback type, be able to come out here and you, you don't necessarily want to bluff him. You want to be able to just run and you're now the lead blocker so essentially if this if the read player goes underneath the lead or the fake split flow action you're going to pull it and now you have a lead blocker so it's a little bit better of a play than true old school zone read so there it is you can see nine is confused he doesn't know what's going on whoop, whoop, gone now the corner wants nothing to do with it set the edge in the gatorade and we are out the gate again watch the vertical speed whoop. Y'all, it's the vertical speed of the run game, coupled with the power. Again, really nice. Love the design. Love seeing multiple quarterback runs in the quarterback run game. Again, we've been asking for a comprehensive quarterback run game, and we're slowly getting it. But it looks good right here. My goodness. Next one, third and five, interception. There's some bad luck here. Ball gets batted. Looks like it almost comes off his helmet. Now, I will say that I appreciate the offensive line for absolutely punishing him after he bats this ball. This is what has to happen. But this is unfortunate because it's going to be there. Watch the right guard. Boom. That is punishing someone. All right. Sometimes the ball is going to get batted down. Right tackle gets walked into your face. Ball goes off the guy's helmet. Hey, this right here, you cannot allow defensive linemen to do this. So what do you do? You dump them. Okay, I love that part of it. That's part of playing football. Thank you, right guard. Do not let that happen. Bad luck. Bounces off someone's helmet right to 27. Bummer. Because really, this is a really nice little return route up top. They really sell this thing. So this is going to be a nice hit right here. We come in here. We're essentially coming under. Fake like we're coming out and come back out. And it really sells this corner. This corner thinks we're really running this shallow. Why does he think that? Because the number two here, this player right here, the number two eligible, sells like it's a rub. So he sells a rub, then gets up field. So we sell that thing like we're going to run shallow across the field, put our foot in the ground and come back out. And it would have been a very nice third down conversion if it was there, if we couldn't get it past Judon's helmet. You can see, whoop, got him. Oh, man. Would have been punt return right. Instead, bad luck interception. Again, tip balls are going to happen. Guys are going to get walked back in your face. Balls bounce off helmets. It's bad luck, but I love to see that dump right there. Make them pay for leaving their feet. Next one. Love this. A little screen run option. Quarterback draw with swing screen. Again, I've alluded to it many times in this video already. But this is a comprehensive quarterback run game. We've seen different types of runs. We've seen what I'm going to call a screen run option here. Could easily be just referred to as an RPO. Here's the screen. We're going to run this swing screen. And we've got two blockers out in front. So if they have technically three, you could throw it. If they have four, you definitely don't want to throw it. So how many do they have? One, two, three four potentially going that way great let's run quarterback draw really quarterback lead draw so you can see again the offensive architecture the design how these things are layered together so what look at them react to the fast four motion so you get that motion everybody moves wide we run right up the gut really could have been more nice job by eight falling back here and making this tackle but man I love the comprehensive quarterback run game. Next one here, a little play action shot, some deep curls. Again, changing the launch point over the tackle, 
great job with his bass, his rhythm. We've also been calling for play action and for him to be able to drive the ball down the field. This is what it looks like. Play action, secure the edges, change the launch point, we're over the tackles, get the ball off on time, in rhythm, outstanding. A little deep double curl here. So first of all, just when we're talking about offensive architecture, appreciate how they're getting here. They're shifting to essentially double wing. So we've got wide edges. We're giving a little play fake, and then we're changing the launch point to now over the left tackle. We've got deep curls, and this easily could be read routes. We, I don't know. We won't know. You know, potentially where he could post it if he could, and if you can't post it, you curl up. So this is just a really nice job to see this thing kind of come together as far as changing the launch point, play action, rhythm, base from fields. Look at his base. He's able to get through that thing in rhythm, time it up. Got someone walked into his lap, doesn't matter, rip it down the field. Y'all, this is outstanding. There are so many elements of this plan that have been what I think what a lot of Chicago Bear fans, Justin Field fans have been calling for, and it's fun to see it come together like this. Next one here, third and five. This is low-key, probably my favorite call of the game. Okay, third and five, pin and pull out of empty, get the first down, eventually leads to a field goal, actually leads to a touchdown, my mistake, the very next play. But man, this is outstanding. Just look at the, the edge here. Okay, so third and five, you're thinking, everybody's thinking pa pass, you're probably thinking man coverage, you gotta get some man rub beaters. Well, all we're going to come out here and do is pin, pin, who knows who he's blocking, and we're going to get the tackle out leading the way. And again, this is what the quarterback run game does. For all you people that hate quarterback run game, you essentially have to be in zero to have the numbers. So if you see middle field closed, you can run quarterback run game and feel like you've got the numbers and everybody blocked to the side that you're going to. It's that simple. It really is that simple. outstanding i love i love it so much to be able to do this in like pseudo weather games like this where you're going to get misted just a great job so good love the big left tackle getting out to running moving people get that first down halftime you dig the channel and you haven't already please subscribe hit the bell get the notifications it lets you know when we go live when we put out new content i certainly appreciate the support for the channel Again, the quarterback school Patreon community revamped, cheaper, never been easier, never been more content available over there. Get over there, check it out. In addition, we've got a bunch of quarterback school courses available. Really the premium content on all of my favorite topics. If you're interested in a deep dive and you dig the quarterback school ch YouTube channel, you will love the quarterback school courses. Get over there, check them out. The link is in the description. And then finally, we've got a bunch of additional free resources all of them can be found in the video description. Get over there, check them out. The Pass Pro Quiz, the Play Calling Tool, the free Quick Game Course, all of them free, all of them great resources. Check them out. As for this video, let's keep it going. Next play coming out of two minute here. We get pressure. This is a great job from Justin Field straight up. This is just unreal arm angle. Great job from 70 getting out and cake in two as well. There's so much to like here. First of all, the arm angle is ridiculous. Right, we're going to put a move on the 91 up. He's already gotten, I think, a tunnel screen batted down at this point. So, no. Look at the arm angle. We're turning two. Creative. I know if certain other guys would have done that, it'd be all over. Be the lead story on damn near every show. But the other thing about this is the hit. So, look at the hit he takes. Now, could those guys pull off? I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily want that being called a penalty. I will say, regardless, it is a hell of a creative throw. And it's a really impressive toughness throw as well because he gets rocked. That is straight up outstanding football, y'all. Look at the pump, drop it down, take a hit, walk into the end zone, have your left tackle kick somebody. Hell yes. This is beating the shit out of somebody. I love it. It's a great job by the Bears, man. It's fun to see them have this kind of game and that kind of moment on this kind of stage. Next, sack. Okay, so again, two minute here before the half. This can't happen for me. And there's a few things here that we're going to talk about because I think this is where, if we're being realistic, 
Justin Fields needs to make some significant growth and make it quickly. So this is just dragon. So watch Justin Fields here, his eyes. So two by two mirrored slant flat. What For whatever reason, he catches this thing and is like looking for the laces. It looks like he's also like holding his eyes down the middle of the field. So he's like late to the laces, late with his eyes. Because when you look at this play from really either side, but it looks like he's working to the left. If we're going to work slant flat down here to the left, this ball gets thrown all day, every day to the number one. I mean, it, it's there. It's there. There is no no mistaking it. It's not blurry. It's not muddy. Now, how we miss this for me, one thing, his eyes look like they're for some reason down the middle of the field. It looks like he's trying to like grip the ball or find the laces. For me, and I think for most people, most quarterback worlds, this is going to be a catch it, grip it, and rip it. So you don't get the laces. You also, for me, I would prefer to take one step. Now, maybe in their program, they tell them to take this shuffle. But for me, the footwork leads to him being late. So we'll pause it. See that like half shuffle? It's like a, to me, it's late because now when he goes to throw it, I mean, it's still there. You, you can make that throw down here at the bottom. He, he has to make this throw. We have to see this. This is one of the few where I was like, oh my gosh, we, we, we can't do this. We can't put our team in this kind of negative situation very often. Now it works out for him because he makes a spectacular play next on a scramble, but he can make this throw. I think we could clean it up with better footwork, eyes, and grip. But who knows? They could be teaching him to do this and throwing with the laces. And for all I know, I got nothing here. Now, the other thing I will say is the right tackle would be nice if he didn't lose inside. But we got to get this ball out. We got to get this ball out. Got to. But things are going to go sideways sometimes. Right here, third and 17, scramble. It's just a great play. There's nothing there down the field. This is pure Justin Fields. Power, explosiveness, ability to get downfield and run, tote the rock. But he's not just scrambling there, taking off. Look at the pocket movement. Hey, he's staying in the pocket. He's hanging tough. No, no, there's nobody open downfield. Nobody. To have that kind of change of direction, that kind of explosiveness. And then again, y'all, I, I just want to lock in here because I feel like sometimes it's easy to just say, oh, he's an athlete, he's whatever. Watch him run away from these people. Okay, this is the part of the film right here. He's running away from people. He switches the ball in his hands and runs away from people. It is special. Okay, it is special, special. Okay, mark it down. Write it down. Put it in your memory bank. Okay, at some point when they get some weapons that match his talent or come close to his talent around him, this offense is going to be damn near unstoppable. And when he gets a little bit, I don't know if mature is the right word, or just more savvy with some of these reads like we saw earlier with that dragon, where just get the ball out of your hands. When I think he can get the ball out of his hands a little quicker, everything will really take off. Next one, third and six. You know, another example of chaos. Drops the snap. All right, it's going to happen. The thing I love about it, the thing I love about how Fields played in this game for the most part is he doesn't let a disaster, because this could be a disaster, right? The ball's on the ground, your back is turned, and right here, this could be a disaster. Do not let a bad play become a disaster. He doesn't right here. This is a bad play. He actually turns it into a good play. He gets a first down running the rock. Now, again, some of this is just his ability to create and run the rock that not very many other people have, but I'm not going to apologize for it. This is what his skill set is. But I love the fact that he doesn't let a bad play turn into a disaster where he throws up a jump ball or turns the ball over. He goes out and gets a first down. Hell yes. Next one here. Love this little sprint to the left. First of all, I love the design. We'll talk about how you won't be able to do this very often. But right here, run to the left, sprint to the left, little iteration of smash. And this is really an example of one, two, three. First of all, we see this shift quite a bit in the league where they'll start with split backs, whether it's tight ends or backs, whatever, and they'll shift up here. And usually you shift up here with the idea that you're going to chip the edge rushers to help the offensive tackles on kind of third long or long passing situations. Right here, they shift. This guy gets wider. 
shift and this guy gets more inside. So you're not going to be able to do this very often because the next time the Bears do this, everybody on defense will be yelling, hey, they're going to sprint out. But it's worth acknowledging right here that when you do this little shift, most teams are thinking drop back. But see the different alignment on those backs? See how one's tucked inside and one's wider? So now we're going to sprint to the left. Great. You can do this a couple times a season. Certainly once a season. And it's a really nice job from fields not forcing something down the field. This is just an iteration for me of, you can call it whatever, sprint to the left. To me, it's just a smash variation where we're going to come out, run a little quick out, run that little corner. And usually this thing is one to two. But if it's not there, it ends up being three on the sideline. So it's kind of one right here. Nope. Two down the field. Nope. Three. Yes. And that's exactly what happens right here. But the thing that I think is impressive is he's going to his left. Now, some people like to go to their left more than going to their right. I'm not familiar with those people, but I'm also really old. Right here, watch him carve it. See him carve that path when he goes to his left. He's not running in a straight line. He's not retreating backwards. Carve that thing downhill. Beautiful patience. Yeah, this is outstanding. I love the play call, the design, moving the launch point, the patience from fields, the accuracy, the vision. We are rolling. Next one here, first and 15. This is probably one of the few misreads he had in the run game, zone read. I think this is a, a handoff, a give all day, every day. He's playing a little bit of hero ball. So we're going to read the conflict defender 58, the stand-up edge player on the right, red shoes. And so if he gets upfield and is going to tackle the back, so we're running zone read this way, if he's going to tackle the back, then we pull it. Okay, if he's not going to tackle the back or he gets upfield or he surfs it or he tweeners it, let's just hand it off. And I know Justin Fields is probably one of, if not the best athlete out there, but this is hero ball. See how he's kind of, he's got you wide surfing it. Just hand it off. He's not going to tackle the back if the back stays front side. So again, it wasn't perfect. No one's saying it was perfect. But I do think there there are little kind of residue of him playing hero ball occasionally. And this is an example of just hand it off. Just play the play as it's designed to be played. We don't need you being a hero, taking unnecessary hits. I love the quarterback run game. I understand zone read is always going to be a part of it, but don't take unnecessary hits. Hand the ball off, live to fight another day. Next one here, third and seven. I love this scramble throw. We give our guy a shot. We've got some pass pro issues for sure up front. We're moving to our left. We flip our hips. It's not a perfect ball. It's a little underthrown, but it definitely gives our guy a shot. and He makes a nice play. So who knows what the hell the left guard is doing here. Again, I don't know what the pass protection call is, but if we were just going to kind of go through common sense here, it looks like we're going to the right. So we're going to get this triple fan here. Now, normally, great. Maybe you go... Let's just say bizarro world. You're going to go four-person slide here to 21, which I don't think is a good idea ever. But then the back would have to come over here and blunt this guy who's standing in the B-gap. I think normally this would be a three-person call and then a two-person half slide on the other side. And then the back would be on 21 or scanning or dueling. I'm not sure what the left guard is doing. It's not necessarily an L. It's more just miscommunication. So again, you know, I don't necessarily think that's on the left tackle. Left tackle looks like he's setting. He's going to work that stunt. I would say that if the left guard and left tackle were working together and they were going to try to pass off that stunt, the left guard and left tackle would have to get a hell of a lot more depth regardless. But not pass pro school, quarterback school. Create, spin out, flip your hips, give your guy a shot, make a massive play on third down. Hell yes. Love it. So again, something breaks down, Fields got, has the skill set to be creative. He's got the vision, the arm strength to drive it down the field. And this is just a hell of a play. It really is. Give your guy a shot. Good things happen. Even though there's breakdowns up front, we certainly know there's pass protection issues in Chicago. Right here, it doesn't matter. Big, big play. And then the last one here, third and four. This is a really... I like the design. I love to read even more. This is a full field read. One, two, three with an alert. 
and he's able to, first of all, he has enough time, so the pass pro is good enough. But this is a great job from Fields. This is a full field read. One, no. Two, no. Three, yes. Again, I don't, I don't want to hear any more of that narrative like, oh, it's a one and run or he can't do a full field read. This is a full field read. This is a unique way to get to power pass. All that means is we're going to get full slide up here and we're going to get the back coming across cutting the edge. So what this read is, is normally we're going to alert the corner. So we'll pretend like that doesn't even exist. The one is right here in the flat. That's where the ball's trying to go. Then we're going to run essentially with a mesh here. Try to get this tight end as the two. So that's the two. And then if that's not there, this kind of mesh picker continues, and that's the three. So it's just a simple one, two, three. And there's nothing simple about going from this side all the way to this side, one, two, three on third down in the NFL. This is high-level quarterback play. This is nice pass protection. One, no, two, no, three, yes, first down. We are rolling. That is a hell of a performance. It was fun to watch. It was fun to see the comprehensive run game come together. It was fun to see Fields operate inside the pocket, outside the pocket, be a playmaker. Hell yes. So that is a wrap. Justin Fields, week seven, Monday night football, going into Foxborough, getting a big win versus the Patriots. Loved how the Bears played on offense. Thought Justin Fields did a lot of dynamic things. In addition, I love the play calling, the offensive architecture. We moved the launch point. We did it a bunch of different ways. We did nakeds, keepers, dash protection even, sprints. We had rub routes. We did all sorts of play actions. We also had a comprehensive quarterback run game. Let me say it again. We had a comprehensive quarterback run game. We had different iterations of gap runs. We've got zone read. We had draws. We did a little pin and pull. We had a full catalog of quarterback run games and it made a massive difference in the game now justin fields is it perfect no are there some certainly some ball security issues occasionally yeah wasn't the greatest conditions in the world to throw it either let's be honest but man the explosive plays the ability to create the speed the vertical speed the ability to run it coupled that together with what the Bears look like they hopefully are doing moving forward, hopefully at some point adding some weapons to surround his special talent at the quarterback position. But man, it is fun when you see it come together. It's fun to see the Bears try to kind of frame their offense in a more friendly manner for Justin Fields and his skill set. Because when they do, it's a lot of fun to watch. That was a big road win on a big stage. Very excited for Justin Fields and company. Very excited for the Bears fans community to see what it could look like moving forward. So thank you so much for hanging to the end of the video. I sincerely appreciate it. As always, I appreciate the support for the channel. I will see you next time. Have a good one.